everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Aiden. And today we just want to do a really quick video to show you the easiest way to deal with plants when they flop out of your beds, particularly when you have a sidewalk or you know an area where you're mowing so that you can keep your beds looking neat and tidy. I once had a professor in college explain, you can have utter chaos in a landscape as long as you have an edge. And I think after you see how we transition this from the buckwheat flopping over and the zinnias falling all over the sidewalk to getting them pushed back into place, you'll see exactly what I mean. The buckwheat, the easiest way to do this is just to give it a little trim. You don't have to pull the whole thing out. That'll just make a mess with soil. So I'm just gonna come through and trim it back and it'll actually regrow wherever I cut it. All right, so now we have this big overgrown zinnia. Both of these plants are self-sown. That's why they're in an awkward place. But I certainly don't want to get rid of them because the swallowtail butterflies and the hummingbirds and the bees <laughs> all love these. So instead of cutting them back really hard, which is what we would have to do here, we're actually going to use a piece of cattle fence that we have trimmed down to just two sections. You can find this at Tractor Supply. It's galvanized steel, so you'll be able to use it for years and years and years. And actually, the original reason that we cut these was to keep your dogs yes. from getting into the beds. Yep. I'm telling you guys, uh, for detracting mammals, for deterring mammals, just a little piece of cattle fence actually makes a big difference. But it's also great for staking. So basically, all we're gonna do is Aiden's gonna pull that up and I'm gonna try and fashion this with both. And I'm gonna put it right in along the edge. Just like that. Okay, that didn't completely take care of the issue. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for this one here, I'm gonna do something that doesn't bring me great joy. And now our Airbnb guests are gonna have an awesome bouquet for the weekend while they're visiting. There we go. Don't waste anything in this house. Actually, we've got some seed here that we can collect. Well, I hope this super simple tutorial will be useful for you. Be sure to subscribe to the Breathe a Plant Lady channel for more regular updates and practical gardening advice. And as always, thanks for watching everybody.